What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrocities is here. We are back in the world of Skyrim, and uh, we are we're, we're out here outside of White Run with our with our Bone Bros and our, our other two companions who look a little concerned about the Bone Bros. I don't blame them. They're, they all seem to be like mean mugging each other. Like that dude's staring at that one, and those two are like, "What? What you looking at, bitch? This is this is creepy." Um, I just wanted to start this video off and kind of let you guys know what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna run up to the uh, to Iverstead. Uh, I'm gonna do this off camera because it's boring. It's literally just a lot of dialogue and me just doing some NPC stuff so that we can get the rest of the shouts and start the main quest line, basically. So we're gonna jump up there, get this started, uh, and I'll pick up once we leave Iverstead with the new shouts. So I landed here at Iverstead and uh, this guy just appears and he says and i quote you call yourself a wizard i challenge you to a duel now i'm surrounded keep in mind i'm surrounded by bone bros and a headless guy and a dude missing an eye who seems to enjoy stabbing people for fun uh and this guy is half naked with a is that a sword or a staff because this looks like a this looks like a staff but that looks like a sword so I'm a little confused. So I don't like being challenged. So we're gonna go ahead and frag this guy. Now the problem is we're in town. So I can't just shout because uh, like that dude right there, I'll probably tag him. So I'm gonna give this just a second and hope these guys clear out of the way so I can fight this guy without necessarily causing any problems. Uh, if he's a fire wizard, I'm gonna be in some trouble because this is gonna hurt like immediately. So I think we're clear now, here we go. The gods will be the judge of that. Right. Never should have come. Yo! Oh my god, he is down. Okay. I think we managed to pull that off without uh, angering any townspeople. What, what the f- Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Alright, let's sheath the sword. Let's find out who this douche lord is. Um... He has a steel short spear? That actually looks pretty fucking badass. Okay. Oh, there's nothing on him, so I don't understand if that's going to start a quest or whatnot. Um, anyways, we're going to head up to Iverstead now. Or, not Iverstead, uh, High Herothgar. Uh, the reason we're going up here, I forgot to explain this. Um, the next, what do you call it, the next, uh, the, or the last protector is in Blackreach. And Blackreach is one of the main questline dungeon places. So I kind of feel bad just going to Blackreach before we do this. Now, odds are it'd probably just be outside of Blackreach. But I figure if we're going to go out there, we might as well do the main quest line. So uh, we're going to head up the stairs. We're going to start the quest line and eventually end up at Blackreach. Hey, bear. Nice. Nice, bear. Nice, bear. Um, bone bros? Oh god. Oh! Oh god. Oh, Bone Bros! Bone Bros! Bone Bros, you suck! Oh, now I have to fight the fucking wizard again. Damn it. Damn it to hell. Oh. I hate this. Well, actually, no, we're gonna leave this here because that's probably smarter. Yes. You call yourself a wizard. Yes. I you to a duel. That's fine. Let's do it. The gods will be the judge of that. Right. They will. Yeah. What? What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? Oh my god. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Oh, I'm in, I'm in save hell. I'm telling the you. The gods will be the judge of that. Right. Right, ho. Whoa, he hits hard. Okay, Skelly. Oh my god, he's killing my Skellies! Oh my god, he's killing them all! Oh my god, you fucking dick back. Ow! Oh my 
god, dude. That guy's seriously fucking mean. Alright, you know what? It's... We're done with this guy. It's Cletus time. He killed my army, man! You know how long it took me to make that army? That makes me mad. You won't like me when I'm angry. Get him, Cletus. Fucking own him. Alright, here we go. Ready? There we go. Fuck him up, dude. Zap him, Cletus. Thank you. Fucking bullshit, man. So all my little skelly bros are gone now, which sucks. Um, okay, so it's not so bad. I at least get parts of them back. That's fine. That's fine. Loot magnet. I don't get them all, but I'll get some of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deposit the rest of us. Anyways, we're going to head back up the hill. Hopefully start Iverstead. Or, not Iverstead. Uh, hire Othgar. Get the shout, and we'll continue there. All right, so we went up to uh, Hire Othgar. We learned some new shouts. Uh, specifically, we got the second part of Unrelenting Force, and we got Whirlwind Sprint. Uh, that's two nice new little doohickeys. Um, and then we also leveled up. Uh, I used some two-handed weaponry just for shits and giggles. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and bump our health up. I don't. We have 850 man. I mean, <laughs> if that's not enough, it's it's not going to be good. Uh, now, some of you guys pointed out something that I didn't realize. Uh, if you look right here, uh, this one is blue. All the rest of these are red. Uh, red means, like this one right here, I don't have enough skill to get it. Now, enhanced summoning up here is blue. So if we come over here, increases range for summoning spells by 150%. Uh, also, this one right over here. Whoops. This one, whoops, right here is also blue. So it's kind of cool. Um, that way you can tell the abilities that you can pick up. I had no idea it worked that way. Uh, kind of interesting. So we, we do have seven points to spend. That's a lot of stuff. Um, we have a couple points here in alchemy we could get. Uh, we get distillation. We could get uh, mutation up there. I'm not really interested in either of those. We only got one point in speech. Uh, this is dexterity, which I don't care about. Wayfair, which we don't care about. Sneak, which we're not going to mess with anymore. Uh, light armor, we're stopping this at this point. Um, I could I could invest some more into this, but we don't really want to. We've already got one point into it, which we'll want to get back later on when we respec. Uh, we could get a couple points into ranged weaponry. I'm actually surprised this isn't higher. I'm Oh, okay. These aren't unlocked because I haven't put any points into that yet. Uh, so, light weaponry, uh, we could invest in this, but again, we're still stuck in the whole point of, are we using swords, are we using maces, uh, not sure yet, not sure yet. Heaven weaponry, that's two sword, two-handed swords, we're not going to deal with yet, block, we don't really care about anymore. Heavy armor, you guys pretty much resoundingly wanted heavy armor, so we're probably going to invest in this eventually, uh, which means we're probably going to head down this track in the old blacksmithing tree. Now, we do have seven points. We could pretty much invest in that. Uh, alternatively, we've also got enchanting up here. So there's uh, there's some stuff we can do up here. Um, all, all enchants are 4% stronger. Enemy weapon causes your currently equipped right-handed melee weapon to attack and move on its own for 15 seconds. It is invincible and has no combat perks or the like. Once the timer is up, the weapon returns to your inventory. does work with two enemy melee weapons. If the weapon is an artifact, this ability will charge it. If not, this ability will clear the enchantment and restore 10% of the enchantment cost charge lost as magicka. I don't understand that one there. Um, so we can basically make spells. What's this one? Arcane, archery, giant fireball, thunderstrike. One of these can be activating in time. All enchants force you and using a bow and releasing fully drawn shots. These abilities simultaneously call spells to emit from the archer as long as the archer has at least 50% magicka left. Each spell consumes 30 magicka. Great fireball deals 30 fire damage. Thunderstrike deals 20 shock damage within 20 feet, and Winter's Breath, 20 frost damage, as well as movement debuff. Uh, magnitude boosted by everything that boosts the magnitude of destruction spells, but do not gain secondary effects from destruction perks. So basically, if I in, if I um, have anything that increases destruction damage, then this will do better. Uh, but we we don't do well. What Soul Siphon do? Wait, 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 wait. Killing enemy automatically traps 15% of its soul and recharges the killer's weapon with it. All enchantments are 4% stronger. So if I bump this up, we could get some more out of that. Um, kind of interesting. Uh, alteration. 
Again, I think we're kind of wasted these points here since we're not going that route anymore. Uh, and then restoration. Um, we could definitely put some points into here. I, I don't know. I kind of feel bad because, I mean, like when we first started this, we wanted to be a spell sword. And now we're kind of going in a totally different direction. And I always have a problem with that. So I think I'm going to try and stay true to the spell sword aspect, which means we're going to stick to one handed weaponry. And we're going to stick to... We can do heavy armor. That's not a mess up. But if we do heavy armor, then all of these alteration points are completely wasted. So I think I'm just going to make a judgment call here. And we're going to stick with our original plan. So it, it just seems like a better idea to me. It seems like it's going to work better. Uh, because otherwise, literally, the, the reason this would suck is I would have to respect the character. And to respect the character, we have to beat the Dragonborn expansion, which means we have to either skip, well, no, we'd have to complete the main storyline for sure. So we'd have to complete the main storyline and then complete it, uh, the Dragonborn expansion, and then we could respect our character. And at that point, we've basically done the whole game. So this is, what, one, two, three, four perks that we've got here, plus we've got the one perk into light weaponry. Um, it, it just seems like we would be wasting a rather large amount of skills. So I think we're going to stick with, I think we're just going to man up and stick with it. Um, I know some of you guys may not like that, but uh, I think that'll work out best for us, honestly. So let's look at alteration. Is there anything in here we can do that'll help us out? What does Spellweaver do? All spells from all schools of magic are 10% cheaper to cast. Uh, that seems like a, a pretty good net win. What does Spellbinder? Grants a toggle ability spellbinder. While spellbinder is active, swinging your right hand weapon will automatically cast a spell equipped in your left hand as long as you have the magic necessary to do so. The magic cost required to cast via spellbinder is equal to the cost of regularly casting the spell unless the spell has a casting time of more than one second. In that case, the cost is multiplied by the casting time in seconds. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, reason why is that turns us into the spell sword. That's what allows us to do what we want to do. So, spell alteration grants a randomly adept level alteration spell. Each known mage armor spell increases armor by 25 per permanently. Each known mage armor spell. So, we want to know more mage armor spells to really get there. So, we'll go ahead and learn that one. Uh, sacrificial casting. Uh, sacrificial casting splits any spell cost evenly between magic and health and reduces the magnitude of healing spells and beneficial potions by 90%. Good God. We don't want that. What a blink do. Shift spells have 50% better range. I don't have any shift spells at the moment. Um, I guess that's something that we could get. But uh, we, we don't have it at the moment. What does Mind Forge do? Enhanced weapon spells last twice as long. Alright, what the hell? Why not? Okay, and that's pretty much everything we can get here. So that leaves us three points. Let's go look at light weaponry. Because uh, Conjuration, we, we don't really have... Oh, that's Restoration. Yeah, I don't... What does Aura Mancer do? That's all the auras and such, which I don't really think I want to get into, honestly. So that leaves what? Conjur... Whoops, that's Destruction, which we're not messing with. Conjuration, we don't have anything we can really invest in. I mean, we've got one that'll increase the distance of our spells, but that seems to be a bit of a waste. Um, how many points do we put into Light Armor? Just one? That's not a big deal. Let's look at Light Weaponry. Okay, so at this point, we have the options of investing okay because these over here what is this unlocks running power attacks running power attacks gain 100 percent chance to cause critical hit with 50 percent critical damage uh while performing power attacks the debuff rank of any weapon covered by light weaponry is increased by one the debuff rank of any weapon covered by light weaponry so if there's a debuff that it gives it increases it by one uh none of these i'm really all that concerned with while performing power attacks the bleed rank of any weapon covered by light weaponry is increased by one yeah so, I know we're going to get the Mesa Moloch Ball. I like maces. Um, the question is, will the mace do any, any real damage for us? So, we have blades, we have blunts, and we have piercing weapons. Uh, I don't like piercing weapons. Piercing weapons suck. So, we can, kind of, uh, we can kind of invest in two trees here to gain access to two perks. Because blood has access to penetrate and dervish, as does clear cut. Uh, clear cut also has access to blind side so this seems like a pretty good area to invest in so what does this do critical chance for blades is increased by five percent critical hit damage for blades is increased by 40 percent. that seems like a pretty good perk to get uh and we can do it again if we want jesus all right we'll go and do that 
And then at this point, we can do Blindsight or Penetrate. Piercing and Blade Weapons covered by Light Weaponry deal 25% more damage when attacking the enemy's back within an 80 degree angle. We do that a lot because we let, uh, we let our, our summons tank for us. Blocks power attacks with blade and blunt weapons covered by light weaponry. Reduce the target's armor value by 200 for 5 seconds. Jesus, that's sick. We're going to go with blindside, though. That makes more sense for us. Uh, especially with the summons. Okay, so we've spent all 7 of our points. What ability do we learn? Does it tell us? We learned a new alteration ability, um, which should be right here. So I, I don't know what ability it taught us. Um... I don't see anything. What is Spell Twist? Beneficial spell targeted by a spell in your left hand is converted into a harmful spell. No. Okay, we had that one before. Transmute skin. For 85 seconds, a caster takes 75% less damage from bladed weapons, but 25% more damage from other weapons. That seems a little weird. Gradually slows the target by reducing speed and carry weight by 25% each second for 17 seconds. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, dude. This thing right here will make them... It's negative movement speed. After four seconds, unless it's additive, and the reason I say that is, um, what, what I mean by that is, let's say at 100, let's say you have 100% move speed. It reduces it by 25 for the first second, so that's 75. Well, then it reduces that by 25%. I don't know what 75 divided by four is, but then it would do that by four, and then that by four, and that by four, so... I don't know what that would end up if it's not that way, and if it's additive, then by the end of 70, after four seconds, you will be unable to move. And then after four seconds, I guess you would be just like sucked into a black hole of anti-movement. Who knows? Um, I'm hoping it's not additive because sometimes things like that can be really crazy because it basically gives things negatives. And when you get negatives, things can go wrong. <laughs> things can go real wrong real fast. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. That that should work out fine. I, I think it'll be enjoyable to, to try that one. Okay, so we have a new special ability over here, I think think toggle spellbinder so we want to toggle that on spellbinder added uh one of the other abilities that i have going right now is where is it trying to where is it I'm trying to find wait what does that do i have no idea what that does um it's under conjuration let me just go find it real quick conjuration uh, it was down here at the very bottom. Uh, Vein of Dark Souls. We have this one going right now. Uh, toggleable spell. While active, reanim reanimation spells are 50% more expensive to cast. The reanimation corpses uh, have 150% armor. So let's cast that again. Make sure it's on. Deactivated. We're reactivating. Okay, it's reactivated. Perfect. Uh, we have... I was using this two-handed sword for a little bit. Um, the reason I was using it is just because I wanted to get some new, um, what do you call it? Uh, what is the, the, I wanted to get some uh, more skill points and some souls. I was really concerned with the souls. So, that is not the spell I thought it was. Is it this one? No, nope, that's not it either. God dang it. Oh, we're in the, that's why. It's Conjure. There we go. All right, here we go. I think because I have two or three uh, of these, I lack the required items to cast a spell. Okay, that blows. That fucking blows. Oh, well. Either way, um, I know this video was a little lackluster in the fact that we did mostly focus on um, kind of character building and what we want. But in the next episode, we're going to go into the um, dungeon up here, which is Ustengrav. It's the first part of the main storyline um we're gonna go in there see if we can't uh, accomplish what we're there to accomplish mainly getting the horn of jurgen durgan that's what i always call it i think it's jurgen or something i don't know it always blows my mind i don't remember either way guys hopefully you are enjoying this series if you do please slap that like button make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next clip